Welcome, in front of me is a OnePlus 11 and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, for this, uh, unfortunately we'll need another uh, Android device. I'll be using some Poco X5 or X5 Pro I think it is, uh, but you can use any kind of other Android device. As long as it has access to Play Store, you're good to go. So we can start off with this device. So on here, we're just gonna open up Play Store and search for clone phone. We're looking for the one for OnePlus. So it's going to be the second one, at least that's how it looks like. Select install. Now while it's downloading, actually it's already finished, you can open it up. Now it's going to require a bunch of permissions, we need to grant everything basically. So just start going through everything that it tells you to turn on. And apparently that's it. No, no, start migrating, we also need to do something here. There we go. So every time it opens up some kind of list of application like this one, just find the app, uh, clone the phone, and enable whatever it's in that link in that area here. Again, toggle on. Aware. While using the app, allow. And we're good to go here. So you can see it's now showing us the QR scanner. So that's what we want. Gonna lock it for now and move over to our locked device now. So before I get started with actual like process, I'm gonna just quickly mention right here, uh, we do have a pattern as a unlocking method. And also if I close this, I could unlock it using the Google, Google account instead, but obviously we don't know either of those. So we're just gonna bypass this by uh, going back. Now, in your case, you do want to connect to your network. As you can see, I have already connected to mine. And once you have done so, you can then back out to the first page or second, oh, there we go. And we're gonna now, let me just quickly uh, check out through the guide what we need to exactly do. Ah, okay, so actually I am supposed to stay on the Wi-Fi connection page. So right here. And once we are connected to our network, we're gonna tap on this eye icon. I'm gonna scroll to, ah, there we go, to share. So we don't need to scroll. I'm gonna select nearby, turn on, need help sharing. Tap on the three dots and then select share article. And we're gonna select messages. Keep in mind, I don't even have a SIM card in here, or at least I don't, I shouldn't have one. I'm gonna check it just in case. Now in here I'm gonna select new message, just so I don't press anything later on. There we go. So I'm gonna pop out the tray. You can see no SIM card in here. And this will still work. So in the to field, just type in any kind of numbers. Uh, good enough. Now it will automatically paste that uh, uh, that article. So we want to select it and we want to just completely remove this entire thing. And in the message, we're gonna type in youtube.com. Now I believe we do need to add the, uh, the www uh, because sometimes if you don't, uh, it will open up YouTube in a pop-up uh, window instead of the actual like full application. If it opens up in a pop-up window, that's not what we need. So you would just need to go back, select a different uh, different number, and then try it again. Anyway, so www. youtube.com. When you send it, it will obviously show you the link, and you have right here the button top to load preview. You want to select it, and then simply click on the image. As you can see, this takes us to YouTube. 
And in here, we're gonna now navigate to well, account, settings. And from here, let me just quickly catch up. About Google privacy policy, accept and continue, and no thanks. Again, no thanks. And right at the top, you want to navigate to hard reset.info slash bypass. I like this. From here, we're looking for this uh, right here, Google search app. I'm gonna click on it. And we're gonna click on the microphone. No thanks. Let me quickly just catch up to what I need to say because we will need to uh, say what we want to open. Okay, so we're going to be opening the application uh, like this one that we have downloaded on our unlocked device. So, let's try it again. Open the clone phone. And there we go. Now, if on your end you're struggling with opening up this app, maybe your accent is making it very difficult for you, you could try to play me back a little bit louder to your locked device and hopefully that will work. Anyway, I'm gonna select allow, allow, Basically anything that once we again gonna allow here. Then we want to select that this is the uh, new device. Allow. Other Android. And we have our QR code visible now. So grab your unlocked device. Uh, we should probably still have that app open. Come on. There we go. So yeah, as you can see the QR code uh, scanner is still open. And now all we need to do is just simply scan this code. There we go. It will start scanning this device for all the data. Now what you want to do is basically deselect everything by tapping right here. And what are we doing is going into the apps right here and selecting just any kind of app. Uh, anyone, any app will do. Probably the smaller, the better. Guess I'm gonna go with YouTube Music. Uh, it's only like 68 megabytes, so it should be quick enough. From there, I can type on the check mark and then start migrating. Select done. So this device is now finished. We don't need it anymore. On here, we're just waiting for this to happen. So it, it migrated the app, then it installed it or processed it, whatever it was doing. And we can now select done. And we are basically at the end of the setup now. So we can select our method of navigation through our device. Then we're gonna skip, selecting any kind of screen lock later. Go to next page and we can now finish up setting up our device. As you can see, we have now access to our home screen. Now from here, you will want to navigate into the settings as a last step. And then you want to select additional settings, backup and reset, reset phone, erase all data, erase data and remove eSIM profile. And I believe once you press on that again, actually I can just do that. Yep, it will begin resetting. So this will only take about a minute or so. It's a really quick reset on this device. And the reason you want to do this is because a reset performed through settings like we are doing right now also removes protection from the device. So Google accounts and uh, screen locks will be now completely removed. Now, even though we did finish up the setup and we didn't have to verify anything, these protection methods are st or were still present on this device. Uh, after the reset is finished, uh, they will no longer be present on it and we can then set up our device however we want. So I'm just going to let it run through and come back once it's finished.
And as you can see, we are now finished. So just quickly go through this. Now I will be skipping basically everything that I can. Uh, but on your end, you can set it up however you want. And as you can see, we are now done. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.